welcome back to the channel people so I know I've been missing for a while but you know it's December these festivities things are happening so uh, I finally found some time to get to those rusty break discs well not the brakes on the, on the rusty but they just color they're not yellow anymore what they suppose they what they used to be and the brake drums are yeah they're rusty so if you get a wire brush those all clean and then we're gonna get started with that if you guys can see in there it doesn't look so great looks quite disgusting so that there yeah. and then you can't even see this anymore and that there yeah so these calipers are rusty as well and we're gonna be using this it's not the best quality but anyway Let's just see what you can get for the best of our money. I paid like 80 bucks for both of these. <laughs> so let's just see how long these last. This can it should be that color. Oh, that's what it says on the can. The top represents what color it is. So we can get these off. <laughs> Not too bad. The other day, I actually didn't tell you guys about that. So the other day on the N7, I was doing about 120 and 100, and then this vehicle broke in front of me and then by the time I was to press brakes there was nothing and it was this bad boy over here then you guys can see it this piston here was leaking so it leaked all my brake fluid out and I had no brakes on the N7 almost went into a bucky luckily like I could swerve my one front wheel locked and then I basically did a, a 180 on the bloody N7 bro Hook the handbrake and I just slide and slide and slide. Luckily, everybody could get out of the way in, in time. So, that's also one of the reasons why I've been missing for a while. It's been scared the shit out of me, bro. But yeah, let's get back to the spring there. The drums and the calipers. The wire brush that I bought is a bourbon. I paid like 30 bucks for it, so it's quite cheap. Just hook that into the drill and zoop. We get to scour these things down. So, we're gonna do this one. And. This one. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh, and I suggest that you guys wear safety goggles because if you get these things in your eyes, you can say safety your eyesight. So safety goggles. I would suggest you get the overall jacket as well, but because these things tend to shoot off and get stuck into guys and might actually pinch you a bit. So yeah, but definitely safety goggles. These get in your eyes. It's over. all done they don't look too bad they came out okay actually but uh, doing the sides was actually much more difficult than what I thought because the angles awkward man so I feel like I had like something to hold like a bench or a vice bench vice to grip it and I could have done it much better but 
I mean, this is good enough for me. This is this should work. Clean the inside as well. So yeah, I don't know. I just hope that the paint sticks. I'm gonna get some thinners and clean them to get to remove all the dust. Otherwise, the paint is not gonna do so well on you. So yeah, let's get to our first coat. It does. Not quite what I was expecting, but okay. Not quite what I was expecting, but then you can get what you pay for. Only paid like 38 bucks for this, so. I think I might only go through with doing the two back drums because I've already done the one, so I might as well do the other one. I don't think I'm going to do the calipers with this because it's not looking too great. So yeah, I'd rather buy the expensive things. But yeah, I'm going to finish this up and do a couple more coats and then yeah, I'm going to get to it. It's actually starting to look much better with the second coat. See, that's what the first coat looks like. That's the second one. That's blade, that's only the first coat now. And that's the second coat in this one. So it's not looking too bad. I think I might just go through with this color. Camera, they look almost like the lime green. Was it just me that's dripping? But yeah, it's not the yellow I was looking for, but it's good enough. So yeah, we can get started with a clear coat. Let's put this here so this page doesn't fly up. Yeah guys, and um, if you're all going to spray outside, be, pre uh, be, pre 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 be prepared to be messed around by bugs and shit flying on your paint. So yeah, I had a couple of bugs sit on there and get stuck, so I had to take them off and spray them out. Like you'll see there's a spot there, like a, you can see there's a finger mark, I took him out and I he sprayed over there. Anyway, I could actually just left him there, it could have been a nice, uh, you know, Statue of Liberty for me. Anyway, I'm going to start with a clear coat. This should be interesting. Clear coat is done, it's all dried up, it's actually on the car right now. I am really impressed with the way it came out, so you guys can have a look at it as well. Look at that, how dope did that come out? Way better than I expected. Hey guys, so um, I couldn't complete the spraying of the front calipers yesterday as I had to go to work, unfortunately. Because I need to make money to do all this kind of shit on my car. And then, um, yeah, so I've already got the car up in the air. It's just for us to clean off the caliper. And then uh, we can start spraying this one. I still need to clean I haven't cleaned this one just yet. But the other one I cleaned yesterday with some thinners. So that one should be. Alright, for the spray, so for today, good enough. So, yeah, let's get to the cleaning and spraying. Clean this thing up. It's done as anything, paint brush. Should do the trick. Yep. Okay, so that's all covered up. The caliper is nicely closed up, so now we can do the first coating. 
They shouldn't take too much coats as well because it's, I mean, it's really yellow. I'm just going to spray over. It should take about two coats. But I think I'll do three. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'll show you guys once I'm done with the second or third coating. This is three and a half cuts later because the can died on me. So yeah, three and a half cuts later. Looking pretty insane. I'm happy with the outcome. So I'm gonna throw some clear coat on there. And then I should be done. This clear coat should bring it out very nicely.